Hello, what's going on YouTube? Today we got the fourth Super 8 add to the game called the our Gargantuan Golem, which is the Earth physical set for Logris. Very, very straightforward set, similar to the Wind one. Um, again, the best pieces to get if you're DPS are the gloves and the shoes. Uh, pants are also good as well if you don't have the Wind one. If you have the Wind one already and you skilled it up, uh, you don't really need the earth one, but you can grab it just in case. And a uh, hat is okay if you lack crit. And armor is good for HP. And there's other good rewards as well. So, let's go ahead and take this out of the way. Very, very simple, straightforward run. I cleared this 44 times now. But it is not hard at all. It's similar difficulty compared to the win physical one, um, in my opinion. So, it's not really hard at all. It's just a little bit gimmicky, uh, depending on if you plan on soloing it or you plan on doing it with uh, a party member. Uh, so the most important factor is that this thing will one-shot you a lot if you can't dodge it or tank it. So what I mean by this is, let me go ahead and use my thingamabobs first so I can go ahead and restore. Uh, so notice how there he just punched my DPS right out of the bat. I call this guy a one-punch golem uh, just because he does that a lot. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to wait out the extinction wave just so I can... Make sure I get my Durando buff up. There it is. And now we go back to stacking. So this is my rotation specifically for this fight. Uh, I, I believe other people have their own rotations on how they want to do this. But this is just how I like to do it. If I don't die here, please let me. Alright, never mind. Dear Lord. Uh, Jesus Christ. That was <laughs> this is my first one back, so it's going to take me a while to get used to this. So I'm going to wait out the next extinction wave. Uh, I should, next one's gonna be a lot more cleaner though. I swear to god, like every time I try to do like these kind of recordings, I always die my first run. I don't know why. It's like, Jesus Christ, like this game doesn't want me to succeed at all. It's like, oh, I'm gonna punch you. No, I'm gonna punch you. Uh, next extinction wave should come up soon. And once it does that, I'm gonna go ahead and just KO it. Hurry up. Do the thing. Jesus Christ. Alright. Um, if you plan on, if you plan on playing a support, uh, my best advice for you is to take um, a lot of defense, a lot of HP. If you plan on playing a Valkyrie, and if you want to go the agility route, that's what I'm doing. Oh my God! Can you register my key already, please? Um, go ahead and wear the uh, magic hat. It helps a lot for this fight. Uh, I, for me, I'm running like 3k agility with like 29 29k P defense, so that's a lot. Uh, and like 22. No. 31k HP, my bad. So, uh, for me, I just get to 1 HP and I just chill out for a bit. Um, I can suicide at this point. There's one attack you should look out for if you if you, um, if you have to tank it. It's just a meteor, meteor smash, whatever it's called. That thing hits a lot. Um, if you're not a guardian and you take the hit, you're probably going to die from it. I'm straight up. Uh, for me, like meteor, ru meteor rush right here. I think for my Valkyrie, I can tank that hit. It does like 20, 10k to me. It doesn't do a lot, but for, for most DPS, it's basically a one shot. Okay, simple, simple run. Uh, not my cleanest run, but a simple run indeed, because all you gotta do is wait out the extinction wave and just go ahead and pop everything. So, I'll do it one more time. Just so I can show you guys a proper run and not a screwed up one. Because most of the time I can get it right the first time around without having to get crappy RNG. That's why I don't use quick territory in my build. Uh, because that build was meant for farming. And I don't need quick territory because I can just like two skill everything. Or two skill the boss. Without having to worry about it. Very, very easy. So same thing, um, if you guys play Assassin, uh, my advice for you is to run a lot of agility. If you run a lot of agility, uh, the boss can't hit you. 
Therefore, it'll be it'll make your uh, fight a lot more cleaner. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. I was trying to get. Well, usually I die after Durando, so I'm okay with this. I got the buff off, so I'm good. Uh, so make sure, like I said before, make sure you get the um, your jelly really, really high if you plan on doing the uh, jelly route. Otherwise, you're probably gonna have to. T Jesus Christ! That was an over crit. Okay, that's where he got. All right, we're gonna reset this one more time because I'm getting really annoyed. This is really annoying for me. Like my RNG is awful today. It's like I'm supposed to have aggro, but like I'm not having aggro. I don't know why. So dumb. All right, let's just reset this. I'm getting annoyed. All right, this time we are not dying this time. Mainly because we have EP this time around. All right then. <laughs> he just comboed with me. It's like, what kind of boss is this? It's like, Jesus Christ. See, miss right here. Um, I think for a hundred percent agility, you need like around 4K. If you have 4K, you're, you're in a good spot for that. Now, please, for the love of God, just DPS. Thank you. Okay, thank God, I hate this boss so much. It annoys me. It's not hard because the gimmicks are hard, it is hard because if it one shots on DPS, I just waste time. When I could bring two reses, two reses would help a lot. But whatever. Like that, that's like, I don't know, 200,000 damage right there. Not a lot. And resurrection, and I'm done. So again, I didn't show the cleanest runs, but usually my runs are a lot, lot cleaner. For, for some reason, for the love of god, I cannot get a clean run on camera, ever. It's like, as soon as my like OBS goes up, it's like, alright, it's, it's time to give Kimo the worst run possible. Just to make it so like, uh, he looks like a bad player. Anyways, those are simple, simple runs. Uh, for me, I'm probably just gonna clear out um, gloves, shoes, uh, maybe evolution armor, I'm not sure. Um, Dark Horse, because I need a lot of these. And crystals, which I'm working on as of right now. So that's like about 260,000. So like, I have like 150 clears to go. So it's going to be a while. Anyways, that's it for the, uh, that video, guys. Very, very simple run. Very, very easy super raid. Once V3 comes out, not entirely difficult. It has seal. So it's not like super annoying like curse or poison it's te it's just seal it has 3.4 billion hp which is really really easy um just learn how to time your extinction waves do your dps and everything should be straightforward so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video